Hello everyone, welcome to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Tracing. I'm Garrett, and today I'm going to explain to you what shelf clouds are. But before I get started, I would like to thank everyone for the support, and I want to keep that ball rolling. So if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and follow along for more content. And I'm going to work on getting more storm content on the channel, so I thought this would be a good place to start. First off, a shelf cloud is a sight to behold once you learn what it is you're looking at. It's always been one of my favorite features of an approaching storm. So what is it we're looking at here? The shelf cloud is the meeting point between a thunderstorm's updraft and its downdraft. This cloud is literally the interface where the storm is sucking in warm air which is being used to fill the storm and the cool downdraft that is associated with rain. Keep an eye out for when a TV meteorologist says the approaching storm has a gust front as that is perfect condition for a shelf cloud. For the most part, a shelf cloud is typically associated with a squall line type of storm system, which you see here. The shelf cloud is shaped like it is because on the top side, warm air is being sucked in, while on the bottom, cold air is being pushed out ahead of the rain, producing this overhanging appearance. Standing in front of an approaching shelf cloud, you'll likely feel the wind blowing to your back into the storm. Once the shelf gets close enough to you, the winds will abruptly change and begin blowing cool air out of the storm towards you. As you're overtaken by the shelf cloud, you enter what is known as the whale's mouth, which essentially looks as though a giant whale is engulfing the land around you in one huge bite. Once underneath the shelf, you'll notice that the clouds look very turbulent, showing the motion behind the immediate gust front. The rain won't be far behind once you enter the whale's mouth, so be sure to find a dry place. And that basically sums up a shelf cloud one of my most favorite features of a thunderstorm. So everybody, again, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything because I've got plenty more content coming. And as always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.